Hello viewers, in today's video I will show you how you can root Huawei Mate 9 which is running EMUI 9.1 version which is latest firmware version for uh, this phone. Viewers, we should uh, start uh, by enabling developer options by tapping 7 times on build number. Then we need to go in developer options and in developer options we need to enable OEM unlock and also enable USB debugging. Once you have done this we need to unlock the bootloader of this uh, phone. We need to switch off phone and connect in fast boot mode. You can enter fast boot mode by holding volume down and uh, then you need to insert the cable and phone should enter fast boot mode. We must keep in mind uh, the bootloader code Huawei is not providing anymore and uh, the only way to get the bootloader code is by using the paid services. Even I am providing the codes if you can also buy from me or you can buy from any other source. Okay. I just hold the volume down and inserted the cable and uh, you can see phone entered fast boot mode and the phone is showing locked. Now I am going to unlock uh, the bootloader of this phone. The bootloader unlock code I have already obtained. You just, uh, viewers it is expensive like uh, almost uh, 15 to 12 20 dollar you need to spend to get this code okay now the command to unlock the bootloader is fastboot space oem space unlock space and then paste the code and then press enter when you will press enter on your phone screen a warning will appear that if you really want to unlock the bootloader you need to select yes by using volume up and then press power button to confirm your decision. Once you press power button, your phone should reboot and uh, it will start factory reset process. So make sure you back up your important data from your phone before proceeding with the route. We must keep in mind that uh, bootloader unlock code is uh, different for every phone. So you cannot use my code. You need to buy a new one for your phone. <coughs> okay, the phone is uh, just uh, booted. I had just uh, speed up the video to save the time. Make sure you don't set screen lock, make sure you don't set uh, any fingerprints. Okay, the phone just uh, reached home screen. Now the next step will be to enable files transfer mode. Enable files transfer mode and uh, now we are going to copy two important files to uh, the SD card of uh, SD card storage of uh, our phone viewers without SD card you cannot root your phone now we are going to copy the TWRP recovery and magisk file both files we need to copy it, uh, in SD card storage make sure there is no uh, and there is no other file in your SD card uh, just to make sure you don't flash it by mistake so make sure only TWRP and magisk files are there in your SD card once we have copied the files again we need to connect our phone in fast boot mode we need to switch off phone and then disconnect from PC hold volume down and insert the cable phone should automatically enter fast boot mode and now we can see phone is showing unlocked which means the bootloader is unlocked now we are going to flash TWRP recovery 
the command is fast boot space flash space recovery underscore ram disk space and then you can either type the name of twrp recovery image or simply drag and drop twrp recovery image on the cmd screen as i did and then press enter and you can see the twrp recovery has been flashed successfully now next step is to boot your phone into twrp recovery we should disconnect phone from pc and then hold volume up and power button simultaneously only volume up and power button don't touch the volume down button and keep them holding even after the reboot viewers make sure you keep holding both buttons even after the huawei logo appear and when you see this screen you can let go the buttons both buttons when it says your device has been unlocked then you can leave those buttons and now your phone should automatically enter twrp recovery okay the twrp recovery is not developed by me so all the credit goes to the original developer who developed this recovery okay swipe to make the modifications and then we need to tap on install <coughs> viewers don't wipe anything otherwise your phone will get bricked then tap on select storage and then choose the sd card and uh, here we need to tap on magisk zip file and swipe to flash viewers once you flash t uh, this zip uh, this magisk file then your twrp recovery will not be accessible anymore so we need to flash twrp recovery in e recovery uh, in e recovery section because this recovery will not be accessible after the root okay the flashing has been successful don't reboot your phone make sure you don't reboot your phone go back and uh, again we need to tap on install and this time tap on install image now you will see the twrp image tap on it and then here you choose e recovery ram disk and uh, now this uh, step will replace your e recovery with this twrp recovery because after root your phone will not be able to boot to stock recovery or uh, that uh, normal recovery mode okay now we need to switch off phone don't reboot your phone once phone is switched off now you need to hold volume up and power buttons simultaneously just like we tried to enter twrp recovery mode same method we need to use every time we re we reboot our phone if you don't hold volume up and power buttons at the boot time your phone will boot without root so if you want root access on your phone after flashing magisk you must hold volume up and power buttons until this screen appears where it says your device has been unlocked usually these buttons are used to enter recovery mode but after rooting your device recovery mode is not accessible anymore actually when you try to boot into twrp recovery it and it, it uh, the phone starts with the root access so this is how it works in emui 9.1 version okay the phone has just started now we need to connect the wi-fi okay wi-fi is connected i can see magisk manager is there it means magisk flashing has been successful now we need to verify if magisk is uh, working yes it is saying magisk is installed and it is up to date now next step will be to verify root access on uh, our phone 
I just copied root checker apk file on my SD card <coughs> and uh, let me install tap on verify root and uh, grant root access yes the phone has been rooted successfully now next step is how to access TWRP recovery we were to, uh, to access the TWRP recovery you need to switch off your phone you cannot access root and TWR, TWRP recovery at the same time so either you can boot to TWRP recovery or you can uh, boot uh, your phone with root access one important thing is uh, you need to disable automatic updates in developer options otherwise your phone may get bricked if it get updated overnight so make sure you don't upgrade your phone when it is rooted okay now I am going to show you how you can enter TWRP recovery viewers don't use TWRP recovery to make backups and don't use it to wipe uh, any partition uh, you can use the TWRP recovery to flash scripts or uh, any um, any modules you want to flash but at your own risk okay you need to hold volume up and then insert cable and your phone should automatically enter TWRP recovery mode this is the only way you can access TWRP recovery if you don't need TWRP recovery you can simply ignore that step where I flashed TWRP recovery in e-recovery section you can see the phone just booted up in TWRP recovery so I am not going to touch anything again if you want to start your phone with root access don't reboot normal just power off your phone and switch on with volume up and power buttons don't use any other method to start your phone because after modifications if you try to boot your phone without root access it may get stuck on Huawei logo and uh, after that may not work properly so make sure you hold volume up and power buttons every time you want to reboot your phone actually don't uh, use the option to restart phone in uh, you know when we press uh, power button it shows us uh, m option to restart don't use that always switch off your phone and then hold volume up and power buttons to reboot okay you can see the phone is uh, working fine now if you want to remove root from your phone and want to do factory reset never factory reset rooted phone okay so if you want to remove root from uh, your phone you need to connect your phone in fast boot mode and then flash stock recovery image which I will uh, uh, include in the root files you can use that uh, recovery image and use the command fastboot space flash space recovery underscore ram disk space and then drag and drop that uh, stock recovery the name will be recovery underscore ram disk simply drag and drop and press enter and after that you can factory reset your phone from st stock recovery Thank you for watching this video, please subscribe to my channel for more amazing videos in future.